Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on making procedural stars in Terrigen. There are a few different ways to create a starry background in Terrigen. One of the most straightforward ways is to find a high resolution star picture and project it on the background. However, there are times when you might want a procedural star field. This can be especially useful for animated space shots or alien skies where you want something unique. Today we'll look at creating stars using Terrigen's built-in procedural noise functions. We'll start in the default scene, where we'll tilt the camera upwards and turn off the atmosphere in the renderer settings for a clearer view. The default Terrigen scene is surrounded by an enormous black background sphere. To create our stars, we're going to be placing points of color on that sphere and adding some luminosity to make them glow. Go ahead and open the background node and we'll add a new surface layer after the default background shader. Let's call this Large Stars. We'll set the color to white and the luminosity to 8. Now, add a new Power Fractal and attach it to the color and luminosity function inputs of the surface layer. We're going to give this a very large feature scale of 500,000 with a lead-in scale of 800,000 and a small scale of 500,000. It's important to choose values that give a small number of noise octaves as this will produce a more even size distribution for our spots of light. Next, in the color tab, increase the contrast to 1 and decrease the offset to negative 0.9. This will sharpen the edges of our stars and make it so only the brightest parts shine through. Finally, let's set the noise flavor to Voronoi Billows. You can experiment with different noise types for different effects. Now we have some stars, but the distribution looks somewhat unnatural. We can help by masking parts of the sky with more power fractals to break up the patterns. I'm going to use two large fractals one Perlin and one Perlin Billows. You can experiment with the scale, noise type, and color settings of these masks. What I've tried to do here is include some large scale variation across the sky and mix in some small scale variation to break up the hard lines of the Voronoi. That looks quite a bit better already. Next we'll add in a scattering of smaller stars. We'll copy this whole setup and change the settings a bit. I want these stars to be dimmer, so I'll bring the luminosity down to 6. In the color and luminosity fractal, we'll set all the scales to 1e to the 5th and change the color offset to negative 0.95, which should give us just tiny pinpricks of light. For the masking, I'm going to give this even greater large scale variation and remove the color offset. so that the areas with stars are more evenly lit in the background. Now we're starting to move towards a more natural sky. One note here is that you might find that to get sharp stars, you'll need to use higher anti-aliasing values than normal in your renders. From here, there's a lot you can do, from adding in colored stars, to nebula and gas clouds, to planets and satellites. Whatever you'd like, really. Have fun in space! 